To install iOS 18 public beta on your iPhone, go to the Settings app, tap on General, and select Software Update. As you can see I am running on the latest iOS 17 software update, and there is a beta update option at the top. To get this option, swipe up and open the Safari app. Go to the beta.apple.com website. Scroll down and click on Sign Up. It will ask you to sign in with your Face ID or passcode. And then Agreement page will pop up on the screen. Scroll down to go through and tap on Agree. iOS 18 guide page will appear on the screen. Scroll down to get started and tap on Enroll Your iOS Device Blue Link. And then again scroll down to tap on Open Beta Updates. Tap on iOS 18 Developer Beta and swipe left to go back. As you can see that my iPhone 15 Plus got an iOS 18 Beta 3 update which is the official public beta update. If you sign up your device for beta program for the first time, it will show you iOS 18 public beta update instead of beta 3. Tap on update now, type in your passcode and tap on install now on your iPhone to download and install the iOS 18 public beta update. After some time your iPhone will restart and a hello screen will pop up. Swipe up and enter your passcode and a confirmation page of iOS 18 software update will pop up and tap on continue. Tap on continue again for sharing iPhone analytics since it is still in the beta version and it will have some bugs to report. And swipe up to go to the home screen. As you can see all the icons are changed to dark mode by default confirming the installation of iOS 18 beta update. Even control center is different from the previous iOS 17 version. Let's go to the settings then general and tap on about section. And here you can see that your iPhone is updated to the latest iOS 18 software update. And if you have already signed up for a developer beta update like me, you can switch to public beta by going to the settings application. Tap on general, then software update, select beta updates menu and tap on the iOS 18 public beta option. And when you swipe back, you will get a software update page, depending upon which developer beta 1, 2 or 3 you are switching from. And if you are not sure whether you should update from iOS 17 to iOS 18, I have made a comparison video which you can check out by tapping the video on the screen. See you over there.